Tim Ernesto, and Jeff the Crippler Daniels, who consequently are not defending their belts against the people in black. I don't know who they are. The Hit Squad. Hitman Jr. in the ring right now, oh. who takes a boot to the chops. Ernesto trying to knock his head off, and look at Dominique. Good God. What's the story with Shane Eden, Lee Tidwell? Did you see his face? Corey's calling me. I'll be right back. Tim Ernesto working over Hitman Jr. Tags in Jeff the Crippler Daniels. Holds him. Ooh, right to the gut. Both men working him over. Referee Lot Roger Lancaster trying to get Ernesto out of there. Okay, I'm back. Corey just needed to ask me a question. Can you not talk about how smart Ernesto and Daniels are taking the rule book that's been in the National Wrestling Alliance for 117 years? And they do not have to defend the Mid-American Tag Team Belts for 30 days. Using that to their advantage, that is like the, the most brilliant thing that's happened in Nashville ever. Well, it'll assure them of keeping the belts for at least a month. At least. That is possibly the greatest tag team ever in Nashville besides New South. This match here from the tournament that crowned NWA Mid-America champions, who turned out to be Sweet and Sassy, whom Ernesto and Daniels eventually won the belts from. Brilliantly, I might add. Tonight Ooh. in Ashland City at the brand new National Guard Armory, international TV taping, you'll see Tim Ernesto and Jeff Daniels. They are in singles matches and using that rule to their advantage, as you alluded to just a few short minutes ago. Why not use it? If, well, the, if there's a anything, rule I mean, that can help out your career, which more, they don't need any help, they can beat any tag team here in the NWA. More power to them, you know. Anyways, more power. If that's the rule, Hitman Clyde in there now, taking a left hand from Jeff Daniels. Hit, hit what? That's Clyde. Hitman Clyde. Hitman Jr. is his part. Over the top rope he goes. The referee was distracted. Jeff Daniels threw the do-rag at Hitman Jr. And now Dominique doing what she does best outside that ring. I love the way her hair is. Now Tim Ernesto going out there, adding insult to injury. I'd rather get hit with that chair by Tim Ernesto oh, than the stiffest boots Right across the, the shoulder like blades. Dominique. And you know, another one. Talk over me all the time. Now Daniel's throwing Hitman Clyde back in there. How Clyde. is that do-rag staying on his head is what I want to know. How's he got a career with a name like Hitman Clyde? Tonight in Ashland City, you'll Tonight see Tim Ernesto Hitman. taking on the headliner, Chris Michaels. That should be a very interesting match. The headliner become a curtain jerker after Ernesto's through with him. As Dominique up on the apron, Roger Lancaster distracted. And look at Jeff Daniels just rubbing salt in the wound he just created with his headbutt to the crotch. He has no salt. He does not use things like that. Oh, I wouldn't know anything about salt. And Jeff Daniels, by the way, will be taking on Lance Dreamer. Lance Dreamer trying to take two proven gimmicks and combine them to get himself over. Good gosh. <laughs> Consecutive knee drops to the face of Hitman Clyde. And Ernesto's got some bony knees, too. That hurts. And now pleading his case as Roger Lancaster sees to Hitman Jr. trying to get him out of the ring. And Jeff Daniels, wide open shot to the face of Hitman Clyde, who's still got the do-rag on his head. Look at that face. Hey, whatever happened to the, to the uh, popsicle stick or, or, or pencil that Jeff Daniels used to use? I want to see that again. That was pretty cool. Well, he hasn't used it much in tag team action. Him and Ernesto make up, like you said, one of the best tag teams we've seen in a good while here in NWA. Elevation on that elbow. Uh, he has got one of the best elbow drops in the business. A tag to Ernesto going up. High risk maneuver. I love when Tim goes to the top, well, or the second rope. Oh! He leg drop to the inner thigh. We'll call it the inner thigh. I will just say Tim Ernesto doing his best urologist impersonation. And now Tim Ernesto running the rope and using Hitman Fly for a stop in a mud hole is what he's doing. Not much offense from Clyde thus far in the match as he's backed into the corner. And oh. now Ernesto he antagonizing had Junior. He had That's to... just what they wanted. They're working him over in the corner. He had to clear his airway. He couldn't breathe very well. So you're oh. trying to say, look over there at those fans. They're ugly. He must have applied that do-rag with crazy glue because it is not moving. All the punishment he's taken. Maybe and now Lancaster well. finally gets over there. Snap bear by Jeff Daniels into reverse chin lock. Look at the face on Jeff. Does he not look like Cactus Jack? Well, don't you let him hear you say that. Why? Because Jeff Daniels has got teeth. Well, Cactus Jack with teeth. Hitman Clyde probably grateful for this chin lock. At least he's not taking punches and kicks. 
And Roger Lancaster looking to see if there is a choke in progress. And now working his way up. Elbow to the midsection. Come on, Jeff. Another. There you he go. pulls him down, and the do-rag still stays in place. It's not a do-rag, man. I've already figured it out. The dude's bald, and he took a black permanent magic marker and colored his head. Hitman Clyde gasping for air. I'll, I'm trying to figure that one out, Tidwell. Just marker, man, you know. Like, I don't know. Look at Dominique. Now, my, she's pretty. If Roger I was around, Lancaster, I'd look over there too. He just cannot keep up with everything that's going on. As a sunset flip applied by Clyde, and now Lancaster finally sees it. There's one, two, kick out by Daniels. Ooh. And back down he goes with the clothesline. Jeff would have kicked out of that no matter if the ref was in position. He just took a rest there. If the ref's too busy looking at Dominique's uh, eyes, th then Jeff should take a breather. This, uh, the first of the elimination matches on the, on the card that featured the tournament for the Mid-America titles. Speaking of cards, let's look tonight. Ashland City, Renesto in a singles match. Daniels in a singles match. Most brilliant tag team ever. Let's check that out right now. In just a few short hours, NWA Nashville presents an international TV taping tonight at the new National Guard Armory in Ashland City, Tennessee, with a bell time of 8 p.m. In our opening bout, Cowboy Bud Ellis will take on the hitman, the one and only Tracy Smothers, locks horns with the mysterious Dr. X. Lance Dreamer will battle Jeff the Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. Headliner Chris Michaels versus Tim Ernesto. The Tennessee Cowboy James Storm returns as he will take on Quentin Charisma. In tag team action, the Wild Boys Ben Jordan and Steve Neely will take on the Devil's Disciples Mephisto and Dante. And in your main event, a tag team grudge match as dangerous Doug Gilbert will team up with Ashland City's own Patrick Chester to take on the New South Corey Williams and Ashley Hudson. It's all tonight. The new National Guard Armory International TV taping, 8 p.m. bell time, be there. I'm Michael Turco. Rick Hollifield's terrible accident is something I might have covered when I was a reporter in Nashville. I was going down I-40 when another 18-wheeler hit me head on. I called Bart Durham. He got me $1.8 million over my lifetime. Rick Hollifield got the help he needed. If I was injured and still lived in Nashville, I'd call Bart Durham. Call attorney Bart Durham, 242-9000. Justice is your right, and we demand it. Is your nonprofit organization looking for a fundraiser? Well, what better fundraiser than hot, live NWA Worldwide Wrestling? That's right. Bring wrestling to your town, high school, or civic center. The best fundraiser in America is professional wrestling. Call this number today, 837-1080. That's 837-1080. Bring the same quality professional wrestling that you see each and every week on TV right to your town. For your fundraisers, call NWA Worldwide, 837-1080. That's 837-1080. Married. Hi. Twice. Now I see why you have two ex-wives. Dated. Why haven't you called me? Numerous. Uh, I've been busy. True loves. Kind of hard to find. One. This is a 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Don Johnson is <laughs> Nash Bridges. Watch today at 5. One huh. tragic mistake <laughs> is a death sentence. Tomorrow at dawn, she dies. Battle on, Cena. Tonight at 9 on UPN Nashville. North Lake Auto Mall is a fun place to shop. Yes. North Lake has all the new Nissans, including Sentras, Altimas, Maximas, Frontiers, and Xterras, priced to sell. Yes. And always a fresh selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs, all at affordable prices. Yes. For your next car or truck, come to North Lake Auto Mall, a fun place to shop. Just 10 minutes from Rivergate, across from Ball State in Gallatin. Yes. Brooke Daniels down for the cover. Only a count of two. Ah, he cheated. As Hitman Clyde kicks out. Has Dude. In Tim Ernesto. Now I see why he's wearing a... Uh, and the do-rag has he, finally come off. He's half ball. Kicked to the midsection by both guys and a double sledgehammer to the back of the Brilliant. blades there. Brilliant tag team wrestling. By they the are a team. fine, finely tuned machine. There's I'll a finely, that. fine, fine thing. They, 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 are, are, you know, they are deserving champions. I'm she taking nothing very away deserving. from that. She deserves a lot. Tim Ernesto grinding the back she deserves of the Ernesto. neck of Hitman Clyde and now just laying all his weight on the Five minutes under. gone by. Five minutes remaining. There's a water maneuver now. Five minutes gone by. Five minutes remaining. Five 
Dan Clyde has got to be gasping for air at this point in time. Another tag in. So here comes Daniels, big side. Looking kicks by Renesto, and Daniels is tempted. Oh, Hitman, what's his name? Daniels and Renesto, just, you know, consummate tag team, keeping a fresh man in there, keeping their opponent in their side of the ring. As Clyde ducks a clothesline in the elbow, and then oh. takes right to the top, the bottom of Jeff Daniels' boot. He knows what blue and white boots taste like now. A little burst of energy. He can make a By Hitman Clyde, quickly snuffed out by the crippler as he's dropping elbow after elbow on the young man. Picks him up. Look at that. Now, Wimpy Hitman punch. Clyde still trying to fight back, not punch behind those punches. He flies through the legs and tags Hitman Jr., who comes in and close lines. Well, we got man. Jeff Daniels and Tim Ernesto in, and this little Hitman watch his face. Taking it to him. Now we got all four men in with Dolly Brook in the ring. Coming up on the second rope, wearing out the head of Jeff Daniels. And Ernesto now finally getting another Hitman who to watch. He ducks the clothesline. Dominic pulling the, the rope down. And that Hitman now being kicked out by Ernesto. Now we got both Mid American Tag Team Champion members in there. Daniels out of the way. And here we go. Double Russian leg sweep Ooh. by Ernesto and Daniels. Look at that. And now they're deciding on who's going to. These are the Mid-American Tag Oh, what's this? Corey Williams in the ring. Corey, Corey. Williams. Oh, oh, he hit Hitman Clyde with the belt or something, a chain. And look, he's down now. These are the Mid-American Tag Team Champions. They will be in Ashland City tonight. They will be in singles competition because they don't have to defend the belts for 30 days. Lance Dreamer and Chris Michaels, they might as well just not show up. Submission hold by Tim Ernesto. That guy's out. The Come guy on, is out. Just ring the bell and now what's going to happen now? New South sticking their nose in this title contention with the champions uh, Daniels and Ernesto. Th th this is going to erupt sooner or later. How many number one contenders for the tag belts do we have? Daniels and Ernesto in Ashton City tonight. Let's hear from the champs right now. You know where we're at tonight, guys.